How's it going people? Sam and Slabber here. And this is the quest guide for Back to My Roots. So, let's get started. Quest requirement wise, you need to have completed Fairy Tale Part 1, Hand in the Sand, One Small Favour and Tribal Totem. Skill wise, you'll be requiring 55 Agility, 53 Farming, 59 Slayer and 72 Woodcutting. Item wise, you will be needing 1 Soft Clay, 1 Plant Pot filled with Compost, 1 Spade, 1 Pot, You'll also need secateurs and a machete. Both of those items do work for the in your tool belt. Additionally, you also need a hatchet. I recommend either rune or dragon. And it won't work in your tool belt. You actually need to wield it. Recommended wise, I would bring along an anti-poison pot, some food and armor. And to start this, you would now need to head to the center of East Ardy and go ahead and talk to Horatio. Go ahead and say yes, it's very nice. Talk to him again, and ask him who he is. Then ask him if he needs any help, and then say, sure, I enjoy a bit of gardening. Quickly skip through all of his chat. As soon as you've done that, we now need to head to the northeast corner of Ardy, and we need to talk to Wizard Cromedy. He is right in the northeast corner of East Ardone. So, once you're here, go ahead and talk to Wizard Cromedy. Talk about Back to My Roots. And now we need to head down to the building just south of East Bank. It's the RDPT Depot. So head over to RD South Bank. And just south of it, you'll see a bunch of RPDT employees. Go ahead and talk to one of these. Eventually it'll tell you to grab this package, so go ahead and open the package on the table and you'll be given a wizard hand. So as soon as you've got the wizard's hand, head back up and talk to Cromity once again. Talk about back to my roots. And you'll do some weird magic. And he'll now ask you to make a pot lid. You have to make it after you've talked to him at this point. If you tried making one before, previously, or if you bought it from the GE, it won't work. So, easy way to do it is head over to the west side of East Ardy. And there's actually a potter's wheel on the north side. So, head on over to the west part of East Ardy, just across this river. You don't have to use a shortcut, but entirely up to you. Either way, the potter's wheel is pretty much right by here. So go ahead and use your soft clay with the oven and make a pot lid. And turn that pot lid into a proper pot lid. Simple. Nice and easy. So make an unfired pot lid, then turn it into a proper pot lid. Once you've got your hands on that, you now want to head back to Wizard Comedy once again. So, once again, head over to the northeast corner of East Ardy and talk to Wizard Comedy.
So, once again, it's all about back to my roots. And he'll tell us to go speak to a farmer on Brimhaven. So, at this point, you now want to head south and catch a boat ride over to Brimhaven. So once you're here, go ahead and catch a ship ride. So once you're here, jump off the ship and head just to your south slightly. And eventually you'll see the farmer on the fruit patch, Garth. Go ahead and talk to him. Ask him about tree root cuttings. And eventually he'll tell you all about the jade vine. So at this point, I would recommend catching a ride with this fella here down to Shiloh Village. If however you can't do that for whatever reason, then make your way south all the way down to where the rune altar is and just wait a little while until I get there but if you followed this then head on out of Shiloh go through both the fences, jump over the cart and run around at the south side circle all the way around Shiloh And you pass the south side of it, head north and cross the little bridge and follow the water east. And then skirt around the north side of Shiloh. As soon as you're at the top of Shiloh, head directly east. If you're at the nature alder, all you need to do is head south slightly and you'll be in the same spot as I am right now. Keep following the north side of Shiloh all the way around. And eventually you'll hit this spot here. This is where we need to go and these enemies are aggressive and they can poison you quite annoying and it's kind of hard to explain what to do so keep an eye on the video while you're doing it. First of all climb up the first route then head east and climb up the route again. Head all the way down towards the south and climb down the vine. Then climb down the vine directly northwest of you and now you'll be on ground floor. Once you head south you may have to cut the vines to get through so go ahead and keep trying to cut these vines until eventually you can get past. As soon as you can, cross through the cut vines. Then head down towards the southeast. And you'll see this little vine here you can actually climb up. As soon as you're up, climb down the vine towards your south directly next to you. And from where you are, you'll be able to see a vine you can swing on directly to your east. Swing across that and you'll now appear on the other side. Head directly north and climb down this vine. Then directly east of you there's a vine taking you down to ground floor once again. Head down there. Head south again you'll have to cut these vines and crawl through. And then head south again you'll have to cut the vines and crawl through once again. There'll be a little vine here you can get up. Go ahead and do that. Then follow it east and climb it once again. At this point, you now have to balance your way across here. If you happen to fall, you'll drop into the water and you'll appear somewhere on the bottom ground where we just were. 
easy enough, just head back to this point. It's very straightforward and fairly easy. So go ahead and cross this vine. Once you're successfully across, climb down. Then directly northeast of you, you can reach the ground floor once again. Go ahead and do that. Directly south, there's some vines you can cut, and then you can crawl through. Go ahead and cut these vines and make your way past. On the east side of this little area is another vine you can climb. Head on up. Follow it around to the west and climb up the vine. Then climb down the vine to your west. Then head north and climb back up. Cross the balance beam again. If you fall in the water you will appear somewhere where we just were. You just have to make your way around again. As soon as you're across though, head south and there's a vine you can climb down. And then there's another vine that takes you back onto the ground floor right here. Go ahead and drop to the ground floor. Now all around this area you'll see little patches of loose soil. Go ahead and dig all of them up. Once you've dug them up, try to cut the root. And then use that root with your plant pot filled with earth. Wait around for a while and see if it actually stays alive. If it doesn't, then go dig up another area, cut the root, and try that root until eventually you're successful. One of these roots will actually grow within your plant pot. It may take a few attempts to actually find the right one, but there's only a few of these loose soil parts around, so you should get it eventually. So, eventually you'll find one that actually stays alive. So once you've successfully got a grown jade vine, go ahead and use your empty pot with your plant pot. This will create a sealed little pot. It'll also use up your pot lid. So once you've done that, and you successfully have your jade vine cut in, go ahead and home teleport to our dome. Once you're here, head back to the massive mansion we originally started this quest at. If you don't have your rune hatchet or dragon hatchet on you, I recommend grabbing it now. Additionally, the inferno adds you can use, but it is immensely weak, and the fight will take for a very, very long time. I highly recommend not using the inferno adds. Either way, once you're here, go ahead and talk to Horatio. As soon as you finish talking to him, go ahead and use your sealed pot on the jade vine patch. And eventually, it will grow into a massive mess. So at this point you can choose to fight it or go to the bank. If you want to get more food out, go ahead to the bank. But if you have a rune or dragon hatchet, this fight is very, very simple. Unfortunately for me, I'm using the Inferno Ads, and you'll see what I mean by how immensely weak it is and why you shouldn't use it. At this point you must equip your hatchet. That is the only weapon that damages the Jade Vine. So go ahead and kill it. I'm going to speed this part up because... Well, the Inferno Ads is insanely crap at killing this. So 
So hopefully you all did bring the Rune and Dragon Hatchet as I recommended and this fight probably by the time I've killed it even though I've spent this video up with the Inferno adds you most likely beat me to it using a Rune, pick a, uh, rune Hatchet. So yeah that just shows the difference between the Inferno adds and any other Hatchet at this point. The Rune and Dragon Hatchet if you've got them equipped and you're using it to kill this the Jade Vine will die very, very quickly. The Inferno Adds is probably the equivalent about a Bronze Hatchet at this point. Highly recommend not using it. But eventually, you'll be able to bring the Jade Vine down. And as it gets closer and closer to death, you'll chop all of its limbs off. As soon as it's dead, go ahead and cut the Wild Jade Vine. You'll gain 2.5k Slayer XP, and a little cutscene will occur. Go ahead and talk to Horatio. And that is it, people. That is the quest. Job done. So, for completing this quest, you gain 1 quest point, 24k farming XP, 40k woodcutting XP, 23k slayer XP, 15k agility XP, access to the vine farming patch in East Ardone, a jade vine seed which you can plant and once every day you can kill to receive 2,500 slayer XP, as well as two extra spins on the Squeal of Fortune. You also gain access to the maze with all of those enemies inside, which you can now kill. And transport between Eagle's Peak and Karamja using the Karamjan Eat Jungle Eagle is now available to you. So yeah, all in all, good times. Now that you've got it, it's entirely up to you. You can plant the Jade Vine Seed in this patch right back here, or you can use this patch to grow vines, either way. There's also a mini quest available after this, which is returning Clarence to rest. It is a requirement for the comp cape, and I will cover it in a separate video. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed, and with that said, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.